I felt compelled to drop this video today. I wanted to speak on <clears throat> the underdogs, the the unsung heroes, the ones that work very necessary, thankless jobs, the ones that are outcasted, neglected, um, given the cold shoulder, overlooked, stepped on, gossiped about, and their names dragged through the mud or just completely ignored as if they don't exist. Um, I wanted to, to do a video for you because I can relate very much, right? I can, I can, I can honestly express that without a shadow of a, of a doubt, Despite my many challenges, I'm happy how my life turned out. And that's exactly how I view scenarios and situations. I view them as challenges. And let me tell you, as many of you already know, life truly is a chess game. And not only, right, and it's a chess game within the chess game on many chess games because there's a there's a chess game going on in the mind because there is a dysfunctionality in our own minds and toxic behaviors and trauma that requires healing right which is why the good book says renewing your mind in Christ Then there's the chess game between interacting with our fellow human peers and the nonsense that we have to put up with between dysfunctional narcissistic individuals, then you have sociopaths and psychopaths, right? You have all levels of narcissism then you have decent individuals that they may not necessarily be narcissists, but they have their own, because you also have borderlines, you have antisocial personality disorder, right? You have, you have many different, you have a spectrum of personality disorders and they're not all bad people, so to speak, right? And it's hard to not take things personal, but we really are not battling against flesh and blood. Different people are at different spiritual strengths. The weakest ones are consistently possessed and remain possessed by their own inner demons. They're being piloted by the darkness inside them for not doing the shadow work. And I'm going to continue my video series on shadow work. And I made a playlist, a shadow work playlist that is public. Um, because shadow work is very important. And it's, it's, it's the foundation of what this channel is. You can't shine the brightest without facing those demons. So this is why we're playing chess. Um, people... Most people, everyone has their own agenda, but um, not everyone is 100% authentic and genuine and just straight up and honest. And if you are one of those individuals that you are blunt, frank, brutally honest, genuine, sincere, down to earth, unapologetically authentic, you best believe whether you know it or not, 
you're going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, including people that you least expected from because you expected those people to, you expected those people to be of like mind. And you will be disappointed because these people are going to have the wrong idea of you, the wrong impression of you for whatever reason. It's hard to not take it personal. Which is why you got to be careful with attachments. But my point is, for the underdogs, the outcasts, the ones that are overlooked, neglected, I want to let you know that your hard work does not go unnoticed. It may be difficult to keep remaining consistent, okay? It may be difficult to keep putting in the work. It may be difficult to map out the vision and stay on course with the vision and the map that the Holy Spirit revealed unto you. A lot of us are visionaries. We're able to see the future. But we also have a, I'm not going to call it a defect because it's a part of, it's a part of our psyche, right? But many of us, we constantly see the negative in things. And some of and and oftentimes we dwell so much in the negative, um, we amplify it with our own thoughts and we dwell deep in it, and we get emotional about it. So in the present moment, even though we see that the future may be a bright one, but in the present moment we are stuck in a negative. We we can get stuck in a negative cycle, and we forget we allow that negativity to blur our vision of the future. That we already know and saw. It's not difficult to get out of that shit storm. I mean, it's not easy to get out of that shit storm. Right? So I would just want to let you know that your hard work does not go unnoticed. Let me tell you something. The right people, they notice your hard work. Your efforts. Don't think that because you're not getting any validation. That people aren't noticing. And don't aim to seek so much damn validation. I mean a little validation here and there. It's normal. But it's toxic to always want this validation. You should be getting validation from within yourself. You should have the roadmap of your goals and you should be looking, how have I improved? What have I accomplished? You validate yourself. You want to know who's the first one, ones, who's the first one to like my, each and every one of my videos? Me. Every single one of my videos, I am the first like. And it's been like that from the beginning. Once I saw that a lot of people wasn't supporting me. Once I saw that a lot of people didn't give a damn with the exception of the same two or three people and one particular individual, which you're going to get a special shout out, my man, on my very first live stream coming up soon. But once I saw I was getting hardly any support, not even breadcrumbs, I said, you know what? I'm not going to wait for people to like my stuff and... um. I was barely getting 10 views on my videos. It's only now that my channel's blowing up in less than not even three weeks. And I'm about to be monetized, right? But those few people that were supporting me, they saw the consistency and they kept coming back. One of those individuals, I don't know who it was. I have an idea who it is, but I don't want to misname anyone but they were sharing my videos in facebook and i'm no longer in facebook i deleted my facebook account 
and I don't plan on getting on Facebook. I don't support their products anymore. I even deleted my WhatsApp and Instagram, right? So someone has been sharing my videos and I'm very, very grateful, whoever you are, right? For sharing my videos. Um, they see the hard work and the consistency. You know who else sees your hard work and your efforts and your consistency, right? Um, and uh, you know who else notices it? The backbiters and the haters, the naysayers, the doubters, the gossipers. The bullshitters, they notice, they notice, especially the bullshitters, the ones that are half-assing, they're not giving it their all. You make them look bad. You ever notice when you're at a job, right? See, because it's in you to work hard. It's not in you. You, you know that, okay, if you just do the job, you get in the zone and just do the job and stay busy. The time will pass by quick. But you notice that there are people standing around acting like they're busy, making themselves look busy, which to me is insane. You know, like if there's work to do, just do it. That's what you're there for. I, OK, it's slavery. We know this. I already expressed this. But at the end of the day, you apply to that job and you're still in that job. You mean to tell me that you hate that job so much and you're still there bitching and complaining and you won't even get to work? So what are you there for then? To collect a paycheck for free? There's a lot of people doing that. But then the hardworking individuals, you have to work double and triple to pick up someone else's slack. When the managers and supervisors are around, right? and you're around and they're around, they got to work extra hard because your hard work and efforts makes them look bad. When you, when you weren't working at that, before you got hired, oh, they were getting a free ride, right? They were getting a free ride. When you got hired and you came on the job, all of a sudden, the shit hit the fan in their minds and they're all high anxiety and they tell you to calm down, not calm down, relax. They don't want you to work hard like you're supposed to. They don't want you to do your job like you're supposed to, right? Because they want to slack off. Now I'm just using the job as an example because that's a classic example. See the ones that are, that are being lazy and slacking off, they feel some type of way. They don't want to put in the work. They know they're not putting in the work. And it makes them feel some type of way to watch you grow. You want to know who else notices your hard work? The Holy Spirit. The heavenly angels. God. You pray to them, right? You tell them, God, help me with this, this, and this. Bless me with this, this, and that, right? But faith without works is dead. So the angels, they're monitoring you to see your progress, to see the work that you are putting in, to see if you are worthy of that blessing that you have been praying for. So even if no humans have witnessed your works, know that the angels bear, re the angels bear record of your works in heaven. I want you to know that. And I want you to know that your efforts towards your life purpose and your dreams and your goals is not in vain. You see, greatness takes time and success leaves clues. And a lot of people they're not willing to play the long-term game and think about the future and think ahead in order to level up. A lot of people give up because they want it right now.
They want instant gratification. A lot of people are not even in it. My phone memory got full. But I just wanted to say, to end it with this, a lot of people are not even putting in the efforts because they want to level up. They're not in it for bettering themselves and leveling up. Too many people are in it for the wrong reasons. They want fame. They want their asses kissed. They want people to bow down at their feet. They're doing it for their egos. But you, who put the kingdom of heaven first, who put the things of God first, who trusted in the Holy Spirit, who you, who sought knowledge and wisdom and, uh, and understanding first, all things shall be added unto you tenfold. Before you even know it, don't lose faith. Don't give up no matter how hard it gets. Stand in your lot and be a man and a woman of valor. Be a valiant one and be of good courage. Because even though I say peace and love, at the end of almost every video, the truth is everything and every day isn't always peace and love and light and rainbows and hugs and kisses. <laughs> There's a lot of dirt that we got to work through. And there's a lot of, uh, of our hands getting dirty. Our hands are going to be getting dirty, all right. And there's a lot of darkness to traverse through. This shit right here is not for the faint of heart. And this shit right here is not for the weak. And this shit right here is not for those that lack faith. Because as Yeshua said, if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you would move mountains. Peace and love.